Hey Breezers, how are you guys? I hope you're having a very happy Sunday. We have a Foodie Beauty community post update from nine hours ago. It has 94 likes and 310 comments. It reads, LOL, you can go through our messages and delete all of yours, but I have them all saved. Nice try. I love how he mostly only deleted the ones asking for money. Well, you still are a bum user. He and sent him asking for the money. Hashtag grifters of YouTube. And yes, sadly, I'm just saying this now. Guess you do love it the most, Dudu. Oh, well. You did me a huge favor. Thanks. By the way, these are older messages, like a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and read them. So, the first message he unsent, it says, a contact unsent a message. And then she wrote back, I sent you the money. It's in your account. 100. He wrote back, I'm not feeling good, and then a thumbs up. She asked how. He replied, I'll call you when I get home. Then she said, okay, be safe. Are you ordering the taxi? Are you alive? And then it shows that, uh, I guess she blocked him because it says unblock or report. All right, let's get into these comments. So the first one is from Tierra. Imagine giving a man who won't claim you, living with another woman, and don't even like you all of your money. Right, Tiara? Sheesh. Scottish Girl React said, These message screenshots are just making yourself look bad, Chantal. All the viewers with a brain cell or with a brain knew all this months ago and were trying to warn you, but you didn't want to face the truth. This just makes you look sad and desperate, desperate because you continue to let him into your hot pocket and wallet. Into your hot pocket. Some people will say that it looks like you're trying to prove you're right with your side of the story. But I think by sharing these screenshots, you're actually trying to convince yourself. True. Flirty Hershey said, girl, everyone in the world sees this. You're the only one who can't. Agreed. Storm of Steel said, you will unsee it the moment he unblocks you. But what do we know? Reality has nothing on you, Chantel. Keep on beezing. <laughs> Duchess said, you think this makes him look bad? By this point, he gave you an STD and was living with another woman, but you still gave him money. This makes you look desperate and sad. It's true. I had to like it. Sarah Ash said, Further proof that he's hustling. Not that we really need more proof. He doesn't even thank her after she sent the money. It's like he's just collecting his dues. No, I'll pay you back when I get back on my feet. Either. He doesn't even bother faking gratitude. He doesn't. Not a thank you. She just got a thumbs up. Like, he was expecting it. He knew that it was going to come. The second he said he needed it, he knew, you know? Destiny and Dana's wedding said, This is <laughs> this is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on. Okay, you guys know the song. <laughs> if I start singing it, it's going to get stuck in your head. Okay, Lynn the Cinnabon said, Honestly, Chantal, at this point, we don't care. We just don't. The cycle is pointless. Just the fact that you think we can care is the sad part. Please stop. Squidward Tentacle said, Guys, I'm never talking about him again. Chantel, at least 80 times. <laughs> at least. I feel like it's way more than 80 at this point. Suzanne said, You could have said no when he asked you. It was your choice to give him money. That part right there, I think she forgets she has a choice in things. Like, she could say, no, I'm not sending this. She could say, no, I'm not turning back on your phone. She could say, no, I'm not wasting my gas money to go get you food or drugs or whatever he may need, you know? Julia R. said, and this, folks, is why self-respect is so important. Exactly. Claire said, I used to have such low self-esteem and confidence that unfortunately I became a sex addict. Not because I enjoy sex, but because I was looking for love. I then overcame that, but ended up dating guys who I would try and buy to keep them. And I'm ashamed to, to say, even up to three years ago, I used to give a guy small amounts of money. Now being single for two years, I will never, ever give a man money unless it's my dad. Chantal needs psych help before anything changes. I think I'm also going to stop watching this because it brings me down. Claire, if it brings you down, definitely stay away from this. Like, at least for a while, you know? If you decide you never want to come back to the foodie beauty world, that's okay too. I think everybody should take a little break. Like, it's really good. Even if it's just a day away, six hours, you don't realize how much this stuff gets to you. 
<laughs> until you decide to take that break and you're like, oh, wow, like, I really feel better. Like, I really feel like I got the negativity right off my shoulders. Um, Tangerine Lipstick said, you're proving nothing. This is all stuff everyone but you realized. The fact that you're using it as some sort of flex or sudden insight honestly just pushes forward the idea that most of us have decided. This is nonsense. You won't give them up because you don't want to. But what you do want is the attention, sympathy, and potential super chats that go along with the realization and you're moving on. True. Laura Abiding Citizen said, What exactly did you want to get posting these messages? Sympathy? That went a long time ago. I'm talking the first two weeks after you met him. You come on here all high and mighty talking, or uh, you come on here all high and mighty thinking you've humiliated him or proven yourself, when actually all you're doing is displaying obsessive stalker behaviors. You continuously thank Didi for taking him off your hands. He never was in your hands as he's never claimed you. He was screwing you in dirty seedy motels for money. But won't shut the heck up about him. You're nearly 40 years old. Grow up and get over it already. Stop obsessing over someone that will never, that never wanted you and will never. Holy heck. That was a good comment. Laura of the Valley said, The only way this would be embarrassing for a nader and not you is if this was your first time being conned out of money by him for playing on your emotions and you didn't know any better. But this is far from his first time using you for money. It's shame on you for supporting this kind of guy. There you go, Laura. I had to like that comment. We are all vultures said he deleted messages he sent to me and you still believed him. Just because she said something like they'll believe me because I'm, a, all, I'm American or whatever doesn't mean it didn't happen. The fact that he had to delete a single message to her reeks of guilt. So true. Choose happiness said it's got to be because he won't respond. She didn't get something from him, and so and so now here are post. She was slowly going backwards as she spoke about trying to call him and messaging him many times. I feel he just ignored her, her or she didn't get the response she was looking for, so here you go, guys. Let's just say something more about him. This is the other moment where she does not like him again. If he does what she wants, it's the I love him, I miss him, he's not that bad. If we, he would have responded, she would have been over there. I agree with that. All right, Reality Check said, obsessively reading month-old archive DMs from an ex at 3 a.m., and you think he's the one who looks silly? Got it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to scroll up so you can read some of these at your own convenience. I hope you're having an amazing weekend and a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, and I will see you guys so soon. Bye.